Hey guys, CBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the hidden router. Let's check it out. Now, the hidden router is a all-included, out-of-the-box VPN solution for your entire network. So this is going to secure all of your PCs. It will secure your smartphones, your tablets, by simply installing this router. Now, you don't have to be a technical person in order to get this working. It's really simple to use, and it's going to give you several things. First of all, it's going to give you internet privacy. That means that people will not know the websites that you visit, uh, where you're coming from, and um, how often you've been there. Uh, it also is going to reduce the um, ads that you're seeing on some of these sites because, again, they won't be able to target you because you're coming in in a very private mode. And in some cases, uh, as most of us are starting to move and becoming cord cutters, as you've seen on my channel, uh, you may find that your current Internet service provider may start... Uh, blocking content that you're uh, that you're trying to get access to. Uh, a VPN can also assist with that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how this product works, what kind of secure experience you'll have, how does it impact speed if it does at all, and how easy it is to install. So let's go ahead and check it out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, many of us, as we have more and more connected devices, are concerned about security. You may be concerned about privacy. You may be concerned about ads. Uh, you may also be concerned about um, content blocking because you have moved now to 100% uh, streaming of Internet TV. And you may find that or have concerns that your Internet provider may be uh, doing some type of blocking. So if you're looking to have anonymous internet access and also uh, really reduce, if not eliminate, all of the ads that you're seeing pop up as you're visiting sites, uh, you may want to consider a router like the hidden router. Unlike um, other VPN solutions where you have to install it on every individual machine or every single device, oh, and by the way, you have to remember to turn it on, uh, this resides on your network. And as long as you're connected to it, every device, phone, tablet, PC, laptop. It doesn't matter if it's a Mac, it doesn't matter if it's a Windows device or Android device, they'll all be secure and they'll be privatized by going through this router. So let's go ahead and take a look at the router. Let's see what's in the box. We'll see how it works and if you sacrifice any speed when you're using it. Now in the box you're going to have your router, a power adapter, and an Ethernet cord. Now the router itself is going to get connected directly to your cable provider router or if you have a secondary router you'd connect it to it. Now this is going to allow you to connect using two bands. Uh, it does support 2.4 and also 5 gigahertz bands and you can have up to around 10 devices connected to this um, with a secure connection. Now in many cases it's still recommended that you have two routers, that you have your standard router that is unencrypted and then this one which has VPN. And the reason why that is recommended is because at times some content providers uh, may uh, block VPNs from coming in. So you may see that with Netflix, you may see that with other providers, so it's always recommended to have this plus your original router, which is something that I have in my home. Now the router itself, as you can see, is really small. Put my hand right over it. Um, it's you know a little bit larger, I would say, than an Apple TV. It looks uh, around the size of a Roku as well. And in the front here, you have some simple controls, right? So you have your power button, and on this side in the back, you have all of your access points. So you have two connections to connect additional devices if you want to have um, hardwired laptops to it. Um, also, you have your internet in. You have your power and then you have a USB device. Uh, the power button and then a reset button which makes it really easy to reset in the event that you have to restart the modem or in this case uh, the router and then uh, you have these little uh, rubberized feet that are going to allow you to keep it in place and not worry about shifting or moving. Now unlike uh, traditional VPNs that are client based, uh, that means that there's software installed on every phone, every laptop, every desktop. Once we connect this to the network and we connect to this router, uh, the encrypted router, the hidden router, we're going to have a secure internet experience uh, throughout our browsing. Now, the technology behind this is WinGuard VPN. So if you're asking yourself what VPN technology are they using, uh, well, the router has been enabled to use that technology to provide a secure connection. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect it. We're going to then see what the configuration looks like, and we'll see what browsing looks like when you're using a hidden VPN. Now, before we actually go into seeing the router performance, I just wanted to highlight some of the things that you should expect 
or know about VPNs because it's a foreign topic for many people. Uh, first of all, as you browse the internet, there's a lot of personal information of yours that is being disclosed. So what we'll do is just for a couple seconds show you what you can see or others can see as you're surfing the internet. So let's take a look at the VPN capabilities. We're going to take a look at what kind of information of yours is being publicly available on the internet and then what the difference is once you use a VPN. Now, one of the things that sets apart the hidden router is the speed. I have other VPN solutions that I use on my uh, PC, on my phone, and I can tell you that the speeds uh, set this product apart. So typically when you do encrypt any kind of traffic on a network, you do see reduced speeds due to that encryption. However, that's not the case with the solution. And you're seeing here that it's describing speeds up to 250 megabits, and that is uh, pretty phenomenal and not something that you normally see. Now, let's talk about what kind of information you're actually giving out without even knowing it. So on the screen here, you'll notice that as soon as I go to their website, they're disclosing to me what type of information they know about me. First of all, they know my IP address, which you see right here, and they also know that I'm in the state of Illinois. Well, there's more to it. Let's go to something called DNS leak test. We're going to switch tabs. And I just ran this test. And not only does it know my IP address, but it knows the actual state that I'm in. And if I do an extended test, let's do an extended test right here. It's going to give me a lot of information about my ISP, but it gets creepier than that. So here it not only is telling me my IP addresses, but it's also telling me that I am with Comcast, which I am. Let's, uh, let's look at a different website to see what it tells me. So not only do they know my address, but they even know what my home looks like, right? Uh, let's see what else uh, is out there. Here's my IP address, and this is all available on Google. You could just do this yourself. And here's another VPN solution that I just wanted to show you how much they've been able to capture. So they have my IP address, they have my provider, they have the city I'm in and the state. They know what kind of browser I'm using, what operating system, and what the resolution of my desktop is. So if that didn't freak you out, I don't know what would. But again, this is not about you know freaking you out about security, but really generating the awareness of what a VPN solution can do for you. So now let's see what happens when we connect to the uh, hidden VPN. Let's check and see what happens. Now for the next tab, what is my location? I'm going to start up a new tab because there's some information that's been cached. So we'll go ahead and hit enter here. And notice uh, what it's doing. It's trying to figure out where I am. It says geolocation analyzing, all this latitude and longitude. This is all the information that is being captured if I didn't have this, this uh, encrypted router. Now, keep in mind, again, let's look at that previous tab so you can see what information was being captured. So here we have the tab side by side. So this is the location that it had, which is kind of blurred out because I want to keep my privacy. And then on this side, you'll see it doesn't know what's going on. Again, this was what was cached in the previous search, and this is what it tried to find out about me, which it can't now. Now, here's that other area, which we had our public IP. This is just another test. We're going to go ahead and check that. Um, again, this is now uh, been changed because of the encrypted router. And now what we're going to do is look at uh, another um, site that is giving my information. Let's go ahead and check that one out. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a refresh. We'll see if it's not cached. Nope. So what you see here, it's been updated as well. My IP address changed, internet service provider changed, my location changed. And again, because uh, the access point for my router is in the state that I'm in, which I'm OK with, uh, and that's going to give me the fastest possible connection, you'll notice that uh, that is there. But everything else is private. All right, so let's go ahead and do a speed test to see how things perform. I have a relatively fast internet connection. So you see that that's uh, peaking at 133, 135. Let's see what the uploads. And that's at 26. All right, so let's go ahead and see what kind of performance we're going to get from the router. So 
connected to the encrypted router or the hidden router. And what I've seen in other solutions that are software based is that the VPN solutions, I see my internet come down to 10 and 15 megabits. Right now, I'm encrypted and getting 120 megabit downloads. Now, let's see what the uploads are going to be. And, you know, I'm really interested in the downloads because that's what I, what, I, what I really want. But let's see how well it does here. So here, not performing terribly well. Um, I typically have a 15 to 25 megabit upload speed, but definitely the download speed. And that's the one that you're going to be really uh, concerned about because that's the one that's going to allow you to use the Netflix, all that other stuff. That's where that one's going to come from. Let's do this one more time. And we'll see what kind of performance we get. And here it goes. And remember, we hit just a little bit over 100 megabits. So this is our second test. And I have other stuff going on in my network, too, so just to be fair. So we'll see what this does. All right, so it, again, broke the 100 megabit download barrier. But we're still seeing some pretty consistent um, upload speeds that are, you know, I'm used to seeing something around here. Uh, so it's a little bit less than what I would have expected from an upload. But still, nothing to sneeze at because you're looking at 102 megabit downloads, and that's very good for an encrypted VPN solution. So this concludes my review of the hidden router. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comment area. See you in the next one.